Sometimes it's hard to find locations in space without first creating some sketch lines. This usually means going back and erasing the unnecessary line work when we're finished. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to place geometry without the aid of sketch lines. On my screen, I have a pair of speakers, and I would like to take the dimension circles that we see on this finished speaker and recreate them on the unfinished speaker. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. We'll center this top portion on screen. And I would like to create this small circle first. I can see it has a radius of 0.4, and I can also see that its center point measures 2.75 units over and 3.83 units down from this upper left corner. Now, I could find that center point using sketch geometry. I could come over and launch my line command. I could start my line from the end point of this line, and I could lock my ortho. I could pull over a distance of 2.75, enter. I could pull down 3.83, enter. I'll hit escape, and the center of my circle is located at the end point of this line. Now, there's nothing wrong with this method, except that I have to come back later and erase these segments. Let me click to select these, and I'll press my delete key to erase them, and let's find the center of this circle without having to use sketch lines. In fact, I'm going to come down and turn off my ortho mode as well. To place the circle, I'm going to launch my circle command. And now AutoCAD's asking me for the center point location. I don't know what that is, but I do know how to get to that location. So I'm going to type TK and hit enter. TK stands for temporary tracking. Notice AutoCAD automatically turned my ortho on. And from this point, I can now guide AutoCAD to the place where I want to create my circle. My first tracking point is going to be the end point of this line, and then I will pull to the right, a distance of 2.75, enter. I will then pull down, a distance of 3.83, enter. And now that I'm at my desired location, I'll hit enter to accept it, and this circle has a radius of 0.4, enter. Next, I'm going to create the larger circle. I'll hit my spacebar to go back into the circle command, and I have a running object snap set for center point. So I'm going to click this circle to start the new one at its center. And this circle has a radius of 1.4. Enter. Let's pan this up. We'll take a look at the circles on the lower half. In this case, the circle that I'll be creating on the bottom has a center point that measures 6.5 units down from the center of the upper circle. No problem. I can find this point using temporary tracking. I'll move up and launch the circle command. And where's my center point? I'm not sure, but I do know how to get there. So I'll type TK, enter. AutoCAD automatically turns my ortho on. My first tracking point will be the center of this circle. I will then pull down 6.5 units and hit enter. Now that I'm at my desired location, I'll hit enter to accept it. Notice as a courtesy, AutoCAD has turned off the ortho. Let's create the smaller circle first. This guy has a radius of 0.8, and I'll hit Enter. Finally, we'll create the larger circle. I'll do that by pressing my space bar to go back into the command. I'll create this circle from the center of this one, and this circle has a radius of 3. Using temporary tracking, we can easily place geometry in our drawing without the need for extra unnecessary line work.